So, this is why I will always be a junior developer. Let me explain. All right, so reason number one, I think I will always be asking questions, impulsive or well-marinated questions. Impulsive questions because if I have something on my head and maybe they probably answered the question already in a previous statement, but it was just so well you know, drawn out. An impulsive question would be like, yo, what do you say? And, and pretty much you already answered that question, but I just want to reiterate it again so I can catch it again so it can, you know, sound different. And well marinated questions is where, you know, I just sit down and actually think about what they said and probably come back to it, well, a little bit afterwards, after um, the question was like kind of like festering in my head exactly what I wanted to ask. So that's why I think. You know, that's number one. I will always be asking questions. I don't really think there's a such thing as stupid questions. I think it's just, a, you know, impulsive questions or well marinated. So, yeah. All right. So number two, why I think I'll always be a junior developer is because at the very beginning of my career as a junior developer, I remember exactly trying to figure out how things work. I actually had notebooks like these where if I came across a problem, I had you know particular notes on all right here's my issue here's the resolution to that issue so i always like i'm still doing that to this day when i'm taking notes and stuff like that put me in the active motion of trying to figure out a problem and whenever i come across a problem then i know i found that issue early on and i can always reference back to my notes on how that particular functionality work in regards to a particular tool that I was trying to implement. And just to add on to that, at the very beginning of my career, I was pretty much widespread on trying to figure out all the different technologies and stuff like that. And for the most part, I do try to look at particular tools, do a little quick overview of how that tool is kind of solving a problem. But for the most part, I'm always, you know, getting very familiar with tools out there that will be, you know, beneficial to the things that I work on and how they're going to be, you know, improving the process or uh, fitting, the, fitting the needs of a business requirement, either for myself or for the business that I'm working for. And this is my last one. Number three, I think one of the main things that happen in regards to you know, just junior developers. And then when you become more senior, you don't think you need to solve the little problems. And sometimes these little problems can make a huge impact for the whole entire system, for the whole entire project. But you just don't think you need to do those little things anymore. So even at my particular level where I'm working at with a team and I'm working with other junior developers and we're working with them, I'm willing to like look at those particular things and look at those issues, even if the business want me to look at something very small, if you know something is not too pressing on my plate already. But you know, I am willing to look at those problems and do the best I can to look at those little problems because the little things make big impacts for the whole entire project.